Yo, what is up guys, my name is Cameron and welcome to today's video in which I'll be showing you the FIFA 15 squad builder. You can pick up this squad for around 62,000 coins on PlayStation or 47,000 coins on Xbox. Now, getting into the squad. First of all, I went for the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. I like this formation a lot as it's both very equal in the attack and the defence. In goal, I went for Weidenfeller. He's probably I think he's like second best in the Bundesliga. And he has very good stats overall. Now, for the centre backs, I went for Socrates and Benatia. Both have good pace, very good defending and physical, and they're good for what they're worth. Now, moving on to the left back, I went for Rodriguez. He's the second best in the Bundesliga. You could save up for Alaba, but you know he has good overall stats and he does the job. Now, moving on to the right back, I went for Piszczek. You know, I think he's the best right back in the Bundesliga. He has good pace, good defending, and good physical. Now moving on to the centre defensive mid, I went for Luis Gustavo. You know, just look at his stats, very good overall stats. You know, you couldn't really ask for much more in a defensive mid. Now, moving on to the right midfield, I went for Shakiri. You know, he's very, very good, I like him a lot. He's good pace, shooting and dribbling, also has four star skills and four star weak foots. Now for the left mid, you know, this is a bit controversial but I went for Triore. you could save up for Royce but at the moment I don't have the coins for him, but you know Triore does the job for the moment. Now at Cam I went for Goetze, the only reason I already used him was because I packed him, he does have 4 star skills and 4 star weak foots and pretty good stats but he is a bit weak. Now for the strikers I went for Chupo Moting and Ramos. Ramos has a good pace along with a very good dribbling and Chupo Moting also, you know, his pace is alright but I'll talk about him a bit more in the video. Okay so now we're going into the clips. So as you can see from the screen now I gave the team an overall rating of about 4 stars. Now as you can see the formation I rated that 5 stars because I do like the 4 one 2 one 2 and the attack and the fence is very even. Now going into the defence, you know, Wyden Feller and Goal, I had no problems with him. He did pull off some like amazing saves, which I was quite surprised about. But now going into Benatia and Socrates. Benatia he does uh, have high attacking work rates, which can mean that he does get a bit lost upfield. And you know, I did find that a bit kind of it did affect me in my games. Now Pizcek and Rodriguez also have high attacking work rates. You know, but they're left back and right back, and I think if, as long as you set their player instructions to stay back while attacking, that didn't really seem to be a problem. Now, Luis Gustavo in the midfield. You know, I had no problems with him at all. You know, he's a very good card, you know, all round, like good player really. Now, Shakiri. You know, yeah, he didn't do as well as you know other teams that have put him in before, but. Overall, he seemed to do a good job. You know, he seemed to be very good at cutting in. And I had one chance where I know I was about 30 yards out, and I hit the post with him. You know, so that was very unlucky. Now, going on to Triore. You know, as I said before, he's a bit. I don't know. I'd say he's a bit risky. You know, he's not kind of the first choice who'd want to put in your Bundesliga team. You know, as you see there, he just scored that very lucky goal. But yeah. Um, He's not your first choice, of course. If I had the coins, I would choose Royce, but at the moment I don't have enough coins. But he does the job, and yeah, with his pace and dribbling being, you know, around the 80s, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. Okay, so now moving on to Mario Goetze. His dribbling at 89, you know, I don't really feel as if he did have 89 dribbling. It wasn't really as if I could easily just like dribble around players with him, but. You know, if you see at the end, I did score an absolutely amazing goal with him, despite that, you know, his shooting is not exactly low, but it's 74, so yeah, but it's 80 pace, you know, I wouldn't say it's easy to get around players, but, you know, he is an alright player, but his 63 physical as well makes him quite weak, you know, so he does get bullied off the ball quite a lot. Now, moving on to the attack, as you can see, I also rated that 4 stars, and the only thing that really stopped me from rating it um, five stars was that maybe at Ramos, you know, he was absolutely amazing. You see me just dribbling it round, you know, teams from kickoff like easily. But yeah, the only thing about him that I didn't like was that he had three star skill moves. 
you know that might stop people from buying him you know but anyway now moving on to inform Chupo Moting if you have a look at his card you know that four star weak foot and four star skill moves you know it looks quite good along with the uh, 79 pace 80 shooting and 84 dribbling and 73 physical you know the 79 pace you could feel it a bit and he was actually quite good at you know, like breaking away from players and his strength did come in handy but he is six foot three, so as you can imagine, he's not very agile. You know, he's not very quick at turning, and you know, it gives that defender that little bit of time to catch up and then come and tackle him. So yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you like the clips, and I hope you like the amazing goal at the end by Goethe, and I hope you have a very nice day.